Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler walkthrough. Uh, so the previous video there, I think I did Ob Obrix. Oh, I'm sorry, no, no, no. Um, I did the quests here, I believe, in Riverford. Uh, so next up, uh, I think I'm going to work on Cyrus's Chapter 4, so let's head on over to Dusk Barrow. Alright, so, uh, alright, so it says, Still in pursuit of the Forbidden Tome, you journey to Dusk Barrow and ever closer to the truth. Let's continue the tale. Alright, story so far. And so, Cyrus's search for the ancient tome led him to Stone Guard, where Headmaster Vaughn uh, lie in wait. Using the forbidden blood magic gleaned from those pages, he aspired to powers unholy and profane. But Yvonne, uh, more demon than man at the end, met his demise. Preposterous. I'm all powerful. Powerful. I am eternal. Immortal. They were all lies. Such were his last words. But who lied to him, and what was their ultimate aim? Cyrus fully prepared to face the truth that awaited him. A foreboding shadow fell over him as he came to Desquare. Yeah, boy. I I'm just now remembering uh, Cyrus's last... Uh, chapter his you know chapter three and and headmaster Vaughn in some ways reminds me of uh, the ninth I think it's the ninth gate I I may have actually I I, I know I brought the movie up um, in in a, you know a couple of videos ago but um, yeah just uh, just really reminds me of that and how the you know the one of the characters uh, I think his name was Balkan uh, Boris Balkan. Uh, basically, you know, he thinks that he's discovered the truth of this book and, you know, thinks that he's going to have uh, kind of super, supernatural powers, but uh, it ends up, you know, he, he messes up his ritual and ends up being <laughs> killed. And so this whole, you know, the Vaughn, you know, claiming or you know, thinking that he was immortal kind of, you know, meets a similar uh, end. But, God, I'm sorry, such a... Um, such a funny uh, <laughs> tangent there. But anyways, all right, here we are. Uh, somewhere in this town lies the headmaster's ultimate destination. Given the nature of his research, it is reasonable to assume that there is a secret laboratory of some sort. Hmm. We'll get to the bottom of this no matter what. Hmm, that's the headmaster's assistant, Lucia, was it? Now that I recall, she disappeared after that incident at the headmaster's house. What's her role in all of this? I must not let her out of my sight. Alright, so it looks like that's gonna be the, the secret dungeon entrance back here, huh? But she was just here. Where could she have gone? Well, speak, friend, and enter. <laughs> mm, what's this? We here. A button of sorts. Yeah, you should press that button. You always want to press the button. I see. Nothing happened. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. It's usually that simple. All right. Looks like we're going to head around town here and start scrutinizing. Oh, and this looks like a new character here that I also want to check. Here we are. Okay. Alright, so let's steal from this guy. Wow, he has all kinds of fun stuff. Ashland. So this is a, uh, this is a quest guy? Yeah, it looks like that. Um, okay, this is a quest person too. Okay, uh, well, let's see. Oh, here we go. Perhaps I should pull it instead, so let's try that. Let's be losing my wits. How does one even go about pulling a button? Okay, 
Okay, so let's not press, let's not pull. In that case, perhaps I should, I mean, I'm going to go with twist it. Okay. Well, that was oh, kind God. of a funny little puzzle. Well, this is a turn. I should proceed with caution. Indeed, you should. Right, so we've got some travel banter. Oh, uh -huh. color me impressed, Professor. To what are you referring? Finding the hidden door back there. It was no great thing. I enjoy com coming up with little theories and then testing them. It is useful talent. If you ever have a mind to switch trades, you can make a go of thievery. Me, a bandit? Now that would be amusing. If I do fall onto hard times in the scholarly world, I shall apply to become your apprentice. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not the teaching type. I learn by watching and doing. Observation and practice, in other words, that is the essence of all learning. If you ever took it upon yourself to become a scholar, I would certainly vouch for you. I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm allergic to academia. You know, if he'd caught me when I was still young, things might have been different. Oh, sad. Well, story of life right there. Okay, is this really already the dungeon? That seems just wild, but okay. I have a... <laughs> I, I see now that I didn't uh, I didn't bother resting apparently in town. Uh, there's a base of maneuvers. Okay, so I've got that on. That's... pretty good actually it's a pretty good bow uh for maybe for casting anyway or maybe like tressa right because you know tressa well I, as a rune lord you know the obviously the runes work off of the weapon that's uh being used as opposed to the best uh elemental attack and so for somebody like her that would actually be pretty good or i, I suppose not just her just really yeah, a combination of, you know, uh, a rune and, uh, and that weapon. So really, you know, any, like a hunter. <laughs> Don't start things you can't finish. Playing, uh, playing some Breath of Fire 3 uh, over the last couple of days, and uh, uh, now, so now I'm I'm used to using the the right uh, bumper to uh, to spin the camera, and that is you know not doable in this game. And that's a bit of a shame. Like uh, one of the one of if. If not possibly the first like uh, game go. that had uh, uh, you know, like a 3D environment that I ever played. I mean, fantastic RP or JRPG. I, I absolutely love that game. But, um, yeah. So these guys are probably There's the, the big guys in the back there. Where's the nearest tavern? But yeah, anyways, um, you know, I've been having a blast. I, I, the funny thing, I've gone through Breath of Fire 3 so many times now, but uh, it's just such a, such a good game. I feel like it's very underrated, too. Oh, uh, okay, so 
So this must be the way that we actually progress. Well, maybe not. There's no, there's no indicator here. All right, so let's explore over here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's cool and everything, but money is not needed these days. Do I have any else? Yeah, 2.6 million right now. Who knows, maybe there's, uh, maybe there's something at the end of the game that I'm going to be able to buy now with all of this cash. I have my doubts, but... You never know. There's really nothing in here. No, nothing in here. Okay. Um, did I pick it up here? Yes, I did. Okay. Mm, I don't know if there's anything in here. The oh, mural on the to do. back wall there. That's really right. interesting. Just it. And that's that. Yeah, this thing looks really cool. These walls seem quite old. Still stands strong, and what are these curious patterns? Look how perfectly they're aligned. Whatever could they be for? Aha! Wait, that's it. It's got the markings illustrates it. Here they billow and swell. An ocean? A flood? It seems to be depicting something overflowing. And yet, Depiction is abstract and surreal. Wait, I've seen markings at least somewhere. <gasps> of course, the runes of I. Hornbergian. The runes are being used to paint a picture. Might there not be a hidden message contained within? as if the runes are flowing forth from some kind of gate. Hmm. Keep hearing about this gate, eh? I hate to admit it, I fear deciphering this will take more time than I have. I should move on. Okay. Famous last words. I just noticed a chest hiding back here. Passages. Let's see here. How's our time looking? Wow, it's still really, really good. Um, I'm gonna keep going here. I, I kind of doubt that this is the end of the dungeon, but uh, we'll, we'll just keep going. Normally, you know, these these kind of end game dungeons have been a, a little longer than the ones earlier in the game. This place is really, really cool. All these tomes and Headmaster Vaughn procure them all. It couldn't be. Volume 7 of Trial of the Twelve, but 
Only the first five volumes are extant. Hmm. were all said to have been lost ages ago. Uh, hmm. What's this? A personal dictionary for the translation of ancient tomes. Did the headmaster collect all of this by himself? Uh, no. no. That would be impossible for even the most esteemed of scholars. No, such a vast repository of knowledge must have been accumulated over decades, even centuries. Mm. This trove to those old wall paintings, this place is one enigma after the next. One thing is clear is that there is a mastermind behind all this. I can expect to find him here. Hmm, okay. Getting close to the mastermind, you say. All right, let's uh, check out this travel banter. Let's see here, are these tomes really worth so much? I can assure you that if they became known, they will turn the world of scholarship on its head. It's not surprising to learn that knowledge can be lost with the passing of time. Wars, disasters, and fires have all served to make men forget things they once knew. Yet books thought to be gone forever have returned as if from the dead, which implies that they were stolen, deliberately kept from the world. Indeed, a most deplorable crime. And the culprit is this man, Vaughn. He would make all knowledge his and his alone. That is why he hid it away here. Unlike men, books cannot talk, but tales these forsaken tomes will tell. Forsaken, that is exactly the word. To monopolize knowledge in this way is a desecration of scholarship itself. Spoken like a man truly de devoted to his trade. It is only proper that an honorable scholar such as you cast his eyes over these pages once more. I intend to do just that. Um, Professor? What is it, Tressa? Just think about the books here. They all seem very special. How much are they worth, do you think? Ah, uh, Tressa, we can always trust you to be interested in the worth of things. Those books record the history of all that has happened. Every event from beginning to end. Gosh. In other words, they contain the knowledge of the world. Knowledge won at the cost of uncounted lives. Whoa! I don't think I, even I, could put a price on that. Quite. They are without question priceless, where they belong to all men. And maybe we should make lots of copies and sell them cheaply so that as many people can, or as possible, can read them. A splendid idea. The question then becomes, how does one produce books cheaply and in large quantities? Indeed. Perhaps with the printing press? Mr. Bond? I don't know. What's that noise? Powers. Mr. Powers. <laughs> Alright. I'm not looking like there's anything... Actually in the room. Soul stone. Night shield. I feel like I've seen these before. Let's take a look. Night shield. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of these already. Alright, well that's a bit of a shame, but that's how it goes. Let's do this! Truly joy. Ooh, let's see. A blunt blow falls Don't start things you can't finish. Hmm. Yes, 
is looking very end of the line y. I don't, that's, that's not a real thing, that's not a phrase. No one says that, other than maybe crazy people. Save successful. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, I think, because it looks like I've got about 10 minutes left. So, let's heal up and get rolling. Oh, yes, this looks like a boss. Professor, you truly are every bit as brilliant as old Yvonne said. I did not come here for false flattery. Oh, but I was being quite sincere. A shame the purport eludes your grasp. To think you were the one pulling the strings. The headmaster was merely your puppet all along. Very astute. Yes, it was I who maneuvered to install him in that position in the first place. To my dismay, he had a willful streak that got in the way. One might say the fault lies in the person who chose him for the task. One might say that, yes. Now, let us proceed to the matter at hand. Your search for the original copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell has miraculously led you to me. In finding me, you have displayed some measure of knowledge and acumen. More than anything, you have shown a pure and unrelenting passion for seeking out the truth. I hold that particular quality in the highest regard. <sighs> what say you, Cyrus? Will you join me in my research? Ridiculous. If that is a jig, it is a poor one. A jig? What a curious reaction from a scholar like yourself. The wall paintings in this place, did they not pique your interest? Did your heart not race when you saw the countless lost tomes in my study? Say I was not intrigued would be a lie. Of course you were. Yes, any true scholar would feel the same. I must unravel these mysteries. I must have the answers. Your mind, no, your very soul burns with an all-consuming desire to know. That is what separates you from the rest, Cyrus. We are true seekers of knowledge, you and I. Together, we can unlock all the secrets behind our world. I'll pass. How can you refuse? You covet the mysteries of the universe. You yearn to know the truth. Surely you can stand shoulder to shoulder with me. <laughs> That's it exactly. What? What is it? Surely you, 
I take issue with your solicitation. You don't care who you use in your schemes. What of Headmaster Yvonne? Don't be ridiculous. He was devoid of the passion you have. He was nothing but a pawn to the end, incapable of envisioning an ultimate goal. On what grounds do you base that assumption? Can a man not grow his mind? If you found him wanting, why did you not teach him? Teach him? Take him on as your pupil. Impart your vast knowledge that he might one day be your peer. <laughs> Preposterous. You speak the impossible. Mediocrity is as mediocrity does. Knowledgeable as he was, his own actions prevented him from ever approaching genius. A genius such as yourself must understand this. There's where you and I differ. I haven't given up on mediocrity. As scholars, we learn from the past to better understand the present and pass our knowledge on to the future. What do you mean to do with the knowledge you amass? The secrets you unravel? Carry them to your grave, content they are inscrutable to all who do not possess your genius. You would call them simpletons, fools, feeble minds. I say it is you who lacks the ability to teach and inspire. A true scholar does not look down on others for what they do or do not know. Those who know impart knowledge to those who do not. If something is wrong, those who know the answer correct it. The process repeats, bringing us closer and closer to enlightenment. I teach my students with the expectation that one day they will surpass me. I long for the day when I will have the chance to learn from them. Enough! I've given you plenty of opportunities to make a move. Any move. But clearly we are going nowhere fast. If you would rather die without discovering the truth, so be it! I have already synthesized a perfect blood crystal, precisely as detailed in the original tome. With it, I will cast off the shackles of humanity! A human can only learn so much in its short lifetime. I will gain the time, the power, to understand everything you may be a fool but to show no hard feelings you can participate in an empirical analysis of my newfound power if believing in the future makes one a fool then call me a proud fool <laughs> what the heck is this uh, is this the, is this the chick from the ring or what <laughs> Know this, when I emerge victorious, I will unravel the secrets of that tome and arrive at my own answer. Let this be a lesson to you. The future of mankind is bright. I cannot fail. Okay. Um, well, that was quite the speech. Uh, and I, also, I imagine that this is what a this is basically a teacher fight. So never uh, never seen that happen, but you know, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the usual. I don't know if uh, sidestep is gonna be useful here, but we'll find out. Um, so basically, for this first stage, it looks like uh, Luc Lucia. I think that's her name. Um, has, she's got 30 shields, which is kind of nuts. Um, and she's also vulnerable to, I think this is all of the weapons. 
mistaken. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to do the multi... Ooh, look at that. Okay, yeah, so side steps are going to be, you know, nice. Um, I don't really have much to do here with, uh, with Varian, so I'm just gonna... Use a melee attack. Um, so here I can do... Guardian Lion Dog. This'll, this'll really, you know, chop off a lot of, uh... Shields here with the sword strike. Um, the tiger rage. Yeah, it looks like Guardian Line Dog is gonna be the, the one to go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Out of my way! How about you? Yeah. Not looking so healthy right now. The dog fights hard. Wow, what the heck? That was really lame. Um Alright, so yeah, let's get the let's get the side steps going here. Uh, maybe I'll do just some item healing with Therion. Let's do the, the great bunch. And I've got to do uh what to do? Catch me again. My turn now. Catch me again. <laughs> okay. Well, can't do anything with him again, so let's just do another grape bunch. I mean, a, a cleric would probably be a good idea here. <coughs> the battle is truly joined. I will Oops, cut I you down. The wrong ability. I was supposed to be a guardian lion dog, but too slow. Too slow. My turn now. Catch me again. The battle is truly joy. The dog fights hard. Yeah, a lot of misses with Ulbrich there. I probably, probably should have stacked some accuracy on him. But yeah, he's really Let's do this. Let's do this. First break. What is the logical course of action? Uh, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna, you know, go too hard on her. I'm, I'm, so she's got three different sets of vulnerabilities, and I want to uh, reveal them all. I don't know that it probably doesn't really matter, but um, you know, it's kind of been one of my goals, I guess. Just to again, you know, reveal all of the, the different weaknesses of Let's all of the enemies. That was the ones that I'm able to. Uh, I'm gonna stack some more side steps here. Um, I, you know, I'm tempted to to do some runes, but um, I also don't want to actually deal too much damage. So let's do. Let's do my turn now. Catch me again. All right, looking, looking good. All right, she body has metamorphosized into a what more? More what? I forgot. Or I didn't catch what that said. Um, okay, so at this point now, it looks like uh, she has uh, el more elemental weaknesses. The only thing that she doesn't have is dark, so it's, it's you know, fire, ice, lightning, wind, and uh, light. 
Uh, I am going to deal some more here. Out of my way. Just these uh, these items, and then let's uh, let's start out with a light. Fuck. The battle is truly joined. Uh, I'm gonna use an item here with Ulbrich because he can't. Um, Ulbrich actually is not gonna be able to, to take down any shields. Um, here. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, huh? A tempest of ice shall rain. My turn now. Let's do a wind. Tonight, risk today. Victory shall be mine. Use this. Use this. Oh, yeah, for some witchery. Shadow slash. See what is shadow slash? Um, dark elemental. Quick silence. <laughs> well, okay, well, he used it on uh, probably the best, the best person. Uh, or, well, the best for me, anyway. Nothing will worse for him. Or her. Uh. Sorry. How about this? Here I go! Okay. Um, yeah, let's. The transfer the now. Uh, I'll, I'll you know, since we're kind of close here to the uh, the last. Well, I should say this is the second break. I'm gonna be ready for the you know, when she busts out her third her third set of uh, vulnerabilities. Yeah, she's already in the yellow here too, so she should probably be careful. I'm actually gonna. No, you don't. This is silly, but I'm gonna defend. To do. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just annihilate her once. Uh, this is really risky. Yeah, this is really risky. You know, I'm just gonna the power. one more time here. That's an interesting dynamic. I think not. Uh, I think not. I think here not. I go. Uh, I think not. She's losing control of her body. Oh no. Okay, at least all those, uh, all of her uh, vulnerabilities are already revealed. So, um, I'm gonna use uh, what's this one. is unbending. Unleash six attacks on all foes. Hmm. Yeah, this might. Windhill, fight with us. Uh, all right, so let's do um, let's do a thunder rune on that one. Lightning! <laughs> Lightning! <laughs> well, what next? Um, it's out of my way. What is this? What's yours? What's mine? There's the energizing pomegranates. I like those. The battle is truly joined. All right, let's do. Uh... Oh, look at this. I can trigger the. Uh... The dog like fight. Trigger the. Oh. Or that just happens. Let's say it can trigger the pursuit the of that fight as well. All right, Big Therian levels up there. There's an additional energizing pomegranate on the drop. Oh jeez, no. oh, she's looking rough. There's so much more I must learn. Mm-hmm. Uh, if nothing else, your devotion to the pursuit of knowledge is admirable. 
Unfortunately for you, you will not live to pass that on. Oh, the light went out. <laughs> Sad. Oh ho! From the far reaches of hell, at last I have the original. How many lives have been lost to the dark knowledge in these pages? But no, knowledge itself cannot be good or evil, only the hearts of those who would use it. I'll use all the resources at my disposal to decipher this work for myself. I will find the answer I seek, an answer of my very own. Perhaps one of the tomes in the study I passed through might aid me in deciphering these glyphs. Yes, I should return. Okay. Scrutinize the archives in the ruins of hell. Alright, is this, uh... We might have to go back to... Uh, earlier spot here. Let's see. Oh, I'm way over time. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to save this one here, uh, and then, or I should say cut this one here, and then I'll, I'll pick it up uh, in the next one. As always, I hope the guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.